Good morning, this is Artie the Vintage Stitcher. I'm so happy that you're here with me this morning. Okay, I cannot believe I am sitting here doing this type of video again, okay? Um, yeah, it has been a whirlwind of a couple of the last couple of weeks and I have a huge announcement to make, big announcement to make, okay? So, today you won't see any tears. All right, that's for sure. Um, I'm hurt, but I'm not depressed. Um, I'm embarrassed, and I'll explain to you why. Um, and I'm a bit angry. I'm a lot, lot angry. <laughs> so, so um, I have a few things to say, and I, there's going to be some changes in our, my life, and um, I'm going to go over all of that with you, and I'm going to explain to you why. Okay. So, when I started this channel three and a half years ago, I started it just for fun. Just for fun. I was like, okay, let's do this. You know, let's ref let's have some accountability of what's going to be, um, what's going to be stitched, and maybe I'll get some things finished, and I'll make some stitchy friends, and have somebody to talk to, and all the things, all the things. It was just for fun. And then I seen it as a challenge, okay? And I'm a person who loves to overcome a challenge, overcome and learn new things and not be an expert in things, but to really advance and to, to grow things and to just see where we can go with it and to, to learn different softwares and to break the algorithms and just to do all of that. So it slowly became a business. And I have never, ever been shy about telling you I am growing my personal business. My goal is to retire from my job, which was a, an office manager at a dental office, get my husband to retire um, early if possible, and to grow this business into something that would sustain us through our retirement. I've never kept that a secret. Never, ever, ever kept that a secret. Everybody has known from day one that the YouTube channel was to grow a business. <clears throat> okay. The other thing I have never ever done is used my YouTube channel to um, be an activist for anything um, political, religious, any hot topics, any, I, I keep all of that stuff completely out of my videos. Any of the hot topics of things that are going on in the world or anything. I have, um, like everybody, I have opinions, but this was a place for entertainment, okay? I never had any like sly agendas to slip things in there, um, to convince people to do things that were wrong or um, to, to push my beliefs on anybody else. Never. I've kept it very, very neutral. What I have done on this channel is I have grown it, which is great. And I have to say that I love each and every one of you, each and every one of you. I have over 15,000 subscribers and I feel like each and every one of you are my best friend. Okay, so I've grown this channel to be successful. I've cracked the algorithm, <laughs> I've learned the software and I've overcome that. I have also built my cross stitch finishing business, I have built my reselling business and I have built my long arm business. And now this year I have advanced into teaching at events and um, vendoring at events, which is a huge dream come true for somebody who loves to go to retreats, but can't afford to go to every single one of them all year long. Um, I am still working. I, I will always have goals um, in business and stuff like that, but I have reached so many goals with this channel. All right. Now... With all that said, and like I said, I love each and every one of you. Well, 99.9% .9 of you, okay? There is a small minority of people out there who are making things extremely difficult for everybody in the cross-stitch community. They, um, they harass, they berate, they take words and videos and twist them take them out of context and it's amazing to me what is going on in the cross-stitch community with this tiny tiny minority of people 
okay? You won. You won. All right. I'm going to make two points here. <clears throat> the first one is I am endlessly harassed about the ads on my on my channel. Okay? I'm endlessly harassed that there's commercials on, on my channel. I'm going to tell you this right now. I have very little control over those ads. If I don't monetize and get the few pennies that YouTube pays out for those ads, they're going to put them there anyway. I have watched channels that aren't even monetized yet. And every five to six minutes, there's an ad. There's a commercial. You can't get away from it. All right? Nothing in this world is free. It's not free. You're not going to get, you want free content, you have to tolerate the ads. That's all there is to it. If you don't want to watch the ads, pay for YouTube Premium. You have to pay for, you cannot get things for free. We all grew up in an era of television, cable TV, there's ads on everything. There's it, advertising is the way of the world. And I'm very sorry that it's like that. I'm so sorry that the world is very commercialistic, but it's a fact of life. And to harass me over ads on my channel is just uncalled for. I'm tired, okay? I'm very tired. What you're gonna get today is an exhausted me. So, to tell you the truth, the small amount of money that YouTube pays me doesn't even cover my grocery bill per month. All right. I just don't need, I don't need the har harassment. Okay. That's first point. <clears throat> the second point is I put out a video a couple days before, well, the day before I left for New Jersey. I thought I'll put out this content. It was a product review. Um, I didn't think anything of this video and this is why I'm embarrassed. I didn't, my mind didn't go where people were bringing it. Didn't even go there because I don't view the world like that. I don't view, view the world in a negative way. I think all people are good. I think all companies are just growing their businesses. I didn't think anything of that. So I put out a video and I was doing a product review of some cross-stitch kits Left on, left on uh, for New Jersey, which we left on Wednesday morning at 3.30 in the morning. I drove all through the day, drove all Thursday morning. I screamed into New Jersey. I dropped my stuff, and by 2 o'clock, I was teaching a class. I was teaching back-to-back -back classes at New Jersey, <clears throat> and Jenny was in the vendor room selling. I never once really picked up my phone. I never picked up my phone. And when I finally did, like it was late Friday night, maybe after dinner, I grabbed my phone, checked my email, and I had an email from one of my viewers, longtime viewers, saying, and thank you so much for bringing this to my attention, saying, do you know what's going on? And, you know, how she really liked my videos and really liked me and couldn't understand why I put this video out there. And... I needed to know what was going on. There was an Instagrammer who was like, had a scathing review of me. There were people commenting on it. I mean, it was all over social media. I was being slandered and executed all over social media. And I had no idea it was even happening because I was busy working. I was busy paying attention to the people who paid to be there to see me. So I go in to read all these comments, all this stuff, and I'm just like, oh my God, what? happened. This was supposed to be just a fun, entertaining, entertainment video. And it turned into this, that I was promoting copyright infringement. And it just absolutely blew me away. Blew me away. I was like so frazzled. I'm like, what do I do? I'm busy trying to put on a good face and do my job for this event and then I've got this going on over here and I'm completely frazzled. My first instinct was to take that video down and apologize. And I am embarrassed that I put that video up and I didn't think of that. I didn't think of copyright infringement, okay? Didn't even cross my mind. 
but it was it was taken to an extreme. It was taken to an extreme. An extreme. So I finished out the the weekend. Came home. You're. I'm in a whirlwind. I haven't slept in a week because we don't sleep at these events. We are up first thing in the morning until late, late at night. We are with people. We are entertainment. We are the draw, and we're we're working. And then we drove 17 hours straight through home because I just wanted to get home at this point. So I slept and I rested and I unpacked and I've been thinking about this all week, all week. And I knew in the back of my mind, I needed to create a video for all of you guys reviewing everything I've done in the last three weeks because I had to take that video down. So there's no content out there for like three weeks. I needed to create a video. I needed to let you guys know what was going on. I needed to update you on New Jersey. I needed to do all the things because on a normal day-to-day -day basis, I get home from these things and I'm so excited to tell everybody what happened and how much fun we had and all of these things and stuff like that. And I just couldn't do it. I could not bring myself to create content. I'm exhausted from creating content that only gets me harassed and slandered and my my content taken out of context um, instead of messaging me first. And the, the, the big thing that hurt more, not that you were voicing your opinion about the copyright infringement. That totally, I, I totally get it. And I should have thought of that. I really did. But people were commenting all over social media that I wasn't responding to the comments. I wasn't responding to them. Um, where was I? Did I just do this for the money? No, I was busy. I was busy. Um, I know my, my work is on social media, but I had, I was busy. <laughs> I did not have a chance to look at social media. And then by the time I did, I was like, okay, Jenny, I'm going to set these comments aside and I'm going to address them on the 17 hour ride home. I'll have plenty of time to address them and get my thoughts together and address them. But no, I was being slammed right then and there for not responding to con content comments instantly. Okay, so that's the situation. I'm tired. I'm very, very tired. Um, don't get me wrong, I love creating content. I love creating videos. I love doing all of this stuff, but YouTube is not a safe space for me right now to put my content out there without ridicule. So my plan going forward is I will be concentrating on building my Patreon community. All of my, all of my content will go to Patreon first. Okay. I will um, be pouring my heart and soul, like I did to the YouTube channel, into my Patreon channel. Is this a step back for me? Yes, it's a huge step back for me. It's a huge step back. I feel like I have to start all over again. But I also feel like I have to do this at this time. And um, so all my content will be over on Patreon. And yes, it is a subscription-based platform. Hopefully I'm giving you a enough content for the prices that the tiers that I have set up that the people who love me and enjoy my content will be able to come over and join me over there. Um, I will be focusing solely on Patreon at this time. I will also be so solely focusing on other aspects of my business, which is my long arm business, my reselling business, my Instagram and my Facebook. And I will be putting out extremely limited content on floss tube. Um, I feel like it cannot be myself, which I've always been myself in my videos. I feel like it cannot be myself right now on a floss tube without it. Um, I don't know. I just can't. So if you would love to support my channel and love to see me, I will be over on Patreon. I realize that, um, the money's not, the, the money's not worth it. The few cents that YouTube pays out to me is is not worth the stress. My well-being is more important than this. My family is more important. I will still grow my business, um, but it is going to be very, very limited 
limited content on, on YouTube. <clears throat> and I'm saying this because, and I'm not saying this just for myself. Hopefully this brings awareness to what all YouTubers have to put up with. Not just me, everybody. This minority of people are going to be the demise of the cross-stitch community. I'm telling you that right now. There are small, small percentage of people who are just out there making life miserable for everyone in the cross-stitch community. And I could give you, um, <clears throat> I could give you many, many examples. Unfortunately, the deeper you get into a community, the, the more of the ugly you see. You know, there are floss tubers are, who are putting out the good, bad, and the ugly of um, the cross-stitch community. There are floss tubers out there pushing their political agendas out there. There are, uh, you know, there are people out there who are harassing floss companies because they're, the name of the color of their floss is, you know, despicable in their mind when it's just a description. There's so many other things and these people are ruining the cross-stitch community. And I, for my well-being at this point, need to step back. So I'm saying this with a very heavy heart um, that I will be putting just limited or content out on YouTube. And the only reason I'm doing that is to provide some content for the people I have grown and to love and respect and call my friends that I know cannot afford to go over to Patreon and pay for a monthly subscription. I will still bring them some content and hopefully some of my personality will still come through on that. Um, so that is what I have to say today. Um, and like I said, I cannot believe I am sitting here saying this again within such a short amount of time. People, just be kind. Be kind. Because what you say on your platform affects what I can say on my platform. Just remember that. When you're out and about in the world, please be kind, spread love, and find peace. <laughs>